video, we finally cover flat panel display fluoroscopy. Flat panel display fluoroscopy is actually the more modern type of fluoroscopy, the one we use in interventional radiology and hybrid operating rooms. And this is the type of setup you see with flat panel in which you see the, the x-ray machine, the generator will be here at the bottom typically, and the flat panel detector, as you can see, different from the image intensifier, this one is much thinner. The other important thing to know about flat panel detectors are the differences between flat panel and image intensifier tubes. And you'll see a lot of vendors will promote some differences or some characteristics more than others. And you should be aware of what you're buying and what the true differences are between an image intensifier tube and a flat panel detector. The decision is not always that clear cut and although we're moving more and more to flat panel fluoroscopy because the conversion to digital is made right away and it's easier for a lot of the electronics to work that way. Uh, at this point there might be cases in which an image intensifier tube might work just as fine or even better and actually be a lot cheaper. So just have in mind in case you are confronted with the decision between buying an image intensifier or a flat panel uh, fluoroscopy. The flat panel fluoroscopy system is related to digital radiography in the sense that we, we have the, the steps when we start with the x-ray, then we have the cesium iodide. And remember, cesium iodide is actually what the same material we use for our input phosphor in image intensifier systems. And it is here when you convert from an X-ray photon to a light photon. And that conversion happens thanks to cesium iodide, and we still use it on flat panel fluoroscopy. Then we have a photocathode that converts that light to electrons. And we have the thin film transistor array that then records that signal. Remember that for flat panel detectors, we uh, depend on the TFT for the resolution. That's our our limiting step or, or the, the factor that dictates the resolution for uh, this type of system. Here I give you an example. Let's focus on the conventional method. This is uh, uh, the flat panel system, how it works. We have an uh, x-ray that enters the system. We have the cesium iodide scintillator, which is the uh, yellow material on this panel. And then uh, let's move to the bottom image. Then we have the photodiode array or, or the uh, TFT array. And that is here in the orange part where we record our signal. So we have an X-ray coming in. It's converted to light with the cesium iodide material, the cesium iodide crystals. Then that light is made into electrons and recorded into a TFT array or a TFT panel. Uh, Fujifilm here has a new method that they're advocating. And the although this is more technical than, than what I want you really to know or understand, just uh, take a look at, at the diagram and see how they are experimenting with this technology. And in this case, what they're doing is a little bit counterintuitive. They're putting the TFT or the photodiode array actually uh, before it is converted to light. And what happens is that you, you will have some light photons that shine back and then they're recorded uh, kind of like in a backwards way. And empirically, apparently, they have found that that reduces uh, noise or, or improves spatial resolution. And, and that way, uh, they can achieve a better image. And just there's another diagram in, in the corner, the conventional method. You have the x-ray. You have the light created at this uh, cesium iodide layer. And then you have the TFT panel. And what they're doing now, they're experimenting with this, is you have the x-ray, you have the cesium iodide, and then you're recording it based on the photons that travel back to the TFT panel. So this is a neat example just to show you how technology changes and advances. A quick recap between the TV camera system that is classically seen in um, image intensifiers and the TFT, which is the, the most important factor for resolution on flat panel detectors. Remember that the image intensifier tube itself can have a resolution of about five line pairs 
per millimeters, but then when converted to a uh, TV system, then that resolution dropped. However, if you are able to make your field of view in the input phosphor uh, small enough, the spatial resolution for image intensifier to can get pretty high and actually the range can be anywhere from one to five line pairs per millimeters. However, newer flat panel detectors, the resolution is typically fixed and it will be something about 2.5 line pairs per millimeter. And, um, you know, this just shows you how saying that uh, flat panels have a better resolution than image intensifier tubes is not always the case. Uh, and the same thing, vice versa, if you're talking about image intensifier tubes, sometimes you can have uh, better spatial resolution or, or even lower spatial resolution. So you have to be very aware that uh, they might be very similar in some aspects and depending on what type of scenario you're talking about, they will behave differently. Just a, a quick recap of points that are different with flat panel detectors. The first one is that spatial resolution does not change with field of view. And what this means is that for image intensifiers, our input phosphor for magnification purposes, we, we had to uh, decrease our field of view. Or even if you have a smaller input phosphor as part of a, an image intensifier system, your spatial resolution tends to increase based on a formula we discussed in a prior video. However, with flat panel detectors, because you depend on the, uh, the pixel size or the TFT size, that it, it won't change. Regard it, it really depends on the TFT, so your uh, field of view really has uh, no, not, no impact in your spatial resolution. You, will still, uh, might, you can still see some lag uh, in this type of flat panel system. It's important to realize you don't have any pin cushion artifact or spatial distortion artifacts such as uh, vignetting, uh, all, all those type of artifacts that relate to the, the shape of the image intensifier tube will not be present for flat panel detectors. Changing field of view does not provide actual magnification here. I should clarify what I mean with magnification. For flat panel systems, you can actually have a, a zoom effect, but you don't have a magnification that increases your spatial resolution as we saw with image intensifier system. And the benefit uh, about this feature is that you can increase the, the size of, your, of what you're seeing of the anatomy without necessarily increasing the patient dose. However, the noise will be more obvious and therefore most of the time we still do increase the dose, however not as much as image intensifier, uh, as an image intensifier system. And therefore, have in mind that magnification in fluoroscopy, you can either do it as, as a pure zoom like you do on your computer, or you can be increasing radiation uh, when you do this. So you, you do have the option. With image intensifier tubes, you really don't have the option because it, it's, the system is not as isolated at that point and it's more of an analog system until you convert it to a digital signal later on. With flat panel detectors, you can think of it as converting the signal to digital a lot earlier in the uh, imaging chain. Flat panel detectors have the added advantages of not having uh, to need uh, focusing. You have an improved dynamic range, they're rugged, so they, they don't have as many moving parts, and in theory they could last longer or be uh, sturdier. Uh, it's easier to read from the TFT in terms of the electronics. We still have a cesium iodide phosphor. We don't have a big absorption efficiency because we're using the same material as we use in prior system, which is cesium iodide. That's the material we use to convert x-ray photons to light. and like we said before, the resolution depends on the TFT array and it might be lower than II systems in some cases. Contrast resolution is another aspect that I wanted to cover on this video. We have contrast resolution that's really related to noise. Our main factor of uh, or contributor 
to noise is quantum model. For all practical purposes in radiology physics, we can treat them as equivalent noise and quantum model. Quantum model will be the standard deviation uh, of a pixel and the formula we have is 1 over the square root of n in which n will represent the number of, of absorbed x-rays at the image receptor. This is just an approximate formula but it gives you an idea of what uh, precisely quantum model is or noise. So it means a, a pixel value that can fluctuate due to chance might affect your contrast resolution assuming that noise is high enough that it can obscure some of your uh, lighter shades of gray. Radiation. When we talk about radiation in fluoroscopy, it's good to have a, a sort of a benchmark. And the five-minute alarm that you hear when you're imaging in fluoroscopy is a reminder uh, of how much radiation you have delivered. And typically, the five-minute alarm will represent five rads delivered, which is equivalent to 50 milligrays. Some people actually say that it can be, it's probably closer to 150. And, it, you know, that's a big variation. But in the um, general aspect of things, just have in mind that you're giving a significant dose at five minutes and, and be aware and conscious of the time. The 50 milligray rule, it's handy because it also represents the max operator dose we can receive in a year. And uh, that's an easy way to remember the, the numbers. So just have in mind, five minute alarm represents a certain amount of radiation, which some sources cite as 50 milligrays just for convenience, but it can be a little bit higher. Uh, usually the operator gets uh, one rat per year. That's the usual dose. So obviously or five rats or 15 milligrays which is much higher and that's a way to remember those numbers and that's all for the fluoroscopy flat panel detector section in the following section we will discuss a little bit more about resolution